very good morning to you. Welcome to New Health. Stopping Medical Tourism, I beg your pardon. Stopping Medical Tourism is a program. Today, the second day in the month of June 2018. You just wonder. It was just like yesterday we started January and today we are in June. Well, the program today will be focusing on the effect of smoking on your health. The effect of smoking on your health. The effect of smoking on your health. Marijuana, tobacco, feces of animals, smoking, brand new money, whatever it is, you are going to know the effect today. And it is going to be with your number one consultant orthopedic surgeon with Asoko General Hospital and the Medical Alliance, or the Medical uh, Advisor to Alliance Hospital here in Malumfashi Street, Garki Abuja, Dr. Christopher Otabo. Very good morning to you. Good morning. You're Thank welcome. you for having me. Uh, just to let you know that Alliance Hospital uh, has been wonderful in uh, supporting the program with human resources, like of course you've seen uh, most time we do this with him, with Alliance, and we offer free consultation, despite the fact that we're going to look at the effect of tobacco smoking on your health. Uh, the program, of course, when it comes to time of uh, calling, you can ask anything, any other thing. It's a free consultation uh, with Alliance Hospital. Okay, doctor, we're looking at tobacco and the health, effect of tobacco on the health of... Okay, yeah. Thank you so much for having me one more time. Good morning, viewers. Um, smoking, it's one of the most dangerous habits that is known to man. And because it doesn't kill in a day or two, people don't uh, appreciate the effect on the body. When we smoke, especially tobacco, because tobacco um, is the commonest substance that is smoked. Every other thing accounts for a very small percentage. When we smoke, we take in carbon monoxide. Mm -hmm. And along with that also, we take in nicotine and other substances, tar, and several hundreds of other substances that go into the body. Before and so, smoke. Yes. And before now, it was thought that um, just the lungs is where the effect of tobacco mainly affects. But uh, recent studies have shown that it affects the whole body. Yeah, not be, only lungs. Not only lungs. Even hearts, Every esophagus. Anywhere oxygen, anywhere oxygen can get to, uh, tobacco smoking can affect it. Why? Um, when we smoke, the carbon monoxide that comes into our body can easily displace oxygen from the red blood cell. And therefore, the oxygen cannot be transported to where it is needed. So what you have is carbon dioxide binding to oxygen. Because the red blood cells normally receives the oxygen and takes it to where it is needed in the cell, deposit it, and come back, pick another oxygen. But when carbon dioxide is, carbon monoxide is bound to the, ox the site on the red blood cell, that's what goes. And carbon dioxide cannot replace oxygen at the cell level. True. So you now have constant... Um, reduction in oxygen concentration in the tissue. And that's the fundamental basis for most of the side effects that you have in, um, that result from smoking. Uh, the commonest one, of course, is the predisposition to lung cancer. In, um, in smokers, they have higher incidence of cancer of the lungs. Mm. Like yesterday, we had this, a patient who had a, a surgery of the lungs, and the cancer had gone far. We thought we could just go take it out, but he, well, you she, he it, came late. You got there. Yes, yeah. and that's the same. That's it's common. Lung cancer present late many times, so cancer of the lungs is common. Mm -hmm. Then there's there's another condition we call chronic obstructive airway disease, mm -hmm. like emphysema, where air is trapped in the lungs. 
it can't go out, it can't come, it's just there. And then also chronic bronchitis, where people get to cough all the time, all the time. and spit out you know, the mucus all the time. Those are direct effects of smoking. Then on the heart and the blood vessels, the, the, the uh, smoke tend to injure the endothelium. That's the lining of the blood vessel. The blood vessel is the, in, in the interior, of the lining of the blood vessel is supposed to be smooth and the blood flows gently on it. So if there's any bruise on the blood vessel, mm. blood clot can begin to form. Mm. And when blood clot starts forming, that's dangerous because the blood vessel can block. And if that happens in the brain, it can lead to a stroke. So if it happens in the heart, it can lead to a heart attack. Uh, well, you mean that smoking can also cause stroke? Yes, smoking has been implicated uh, seriously in the formation, in the causation of stroke and heart attack. Yes, so those are then for the skin. Smoking hampers wound healing seriously. In fact, when, when I want to do surgeries for smokers, I tell them they must stop smoking for at least two weeks before the surgery. Otherwise, the wound will not heal on time. Yes, and apart from that, it can also affect, it can cause erectile dysfunction. Smoking? Yes, because it affects the, the blood supply to the male uh, organ. So it can, it can begin to, it can, can cause marriage problem, marital can you, problem. <laughs> okay, when it comes to uh, duties, yes, of duties. Yes, exactly. Okay, and now, what is the relationship between, what, what the relationship between smoking and bones? Some research say it can lead to disability. Yeah. Um, it's still smoking can affect once the blood supply is limited in the bone many things can happen the, the, uh, there's a risk of osteoporosis that's softening of the bone mm. yes and if there's a fracture it, it may never heal because of it, smoking yes it may not heal on time so, so it's, it, it relates to almost all parts of the body even uh, childbearing, the risk of um, of abortion, miscarriage, is so high in smokers compared to the general population. Okay, and uh, what we have been saying, uh, one will say, okay, it's for, for the first-hand smokers. After all, I don't smoke, but you are always close to those that are smoking. Do they yes. share the same risk as the ones that are first-hand smokers? Yes. Um, they are passive smokers. Passive smoking is, you don't smoke, but you are in a place where, always in a place where uh, people smoke. In fact, if you, if you walk in a place like, let's say, a, a bar or a clubhouse, mm. an enclosed place where people come in to smoke and they go, but you are always there inhaling the smoke, you will have more consequences than the person that was actually smoking. Because you are always there for eight hours of your work. You are there inhaling the smoke. But the smoker probably will smoke for 30 minutes and walk away. And maybe another 30 minutes, you know. But if you are always there inhaling what they have exhaled, so the consequences will be worse. Passive smokers, those who inhale smoke from uh, the the smokers. smoking at home. Yes or who are in an enclosed environment where the smoke permeates, they will have exactly the same consequences as those who smoked. <laughs> wow, yes. what a, a revelation. You just commonize a stick of cigarette or a pack of cigarettes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is uh, what it does really uh, is enormous. It can uh, lead to disability as you have heard, weak, uh, weaken the bone and fracture the bone and when it's really would be difficult for the fracture to be healed because of the smoking. Um, we have the, live, uh, the lung problem. We also have the, the heart disease. The esophagus is, is also there. So why would you want to be close to somebody who smokes? Yes, you don't smoke. You don't have to be close to them because same thing that are, that's applicable to them will be applicable to you. And you, the first-hand smoker, why do you want to continue in it? Now, doctor, for some of the diseases that we have 
mentioned, let's uh, look at the, the sign and symptoms so that for those who may be having the signs can quickly run for their dear, dear life. The heart, the well, lungs, the, uh, um, the bones, and, and, and all of that. Let's look is, at that quickly. The truth is that um, you, you don't want to wait until you start having signs before you stop smoking. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it will be late to do anything. Mm -hmm. Even though uh, studies have shown that um, the changes, the negative changes that takes place um, when we smoke over time, when we stop smoking, the changes can be reversed. And that, that's the good news about mm. stopping smoking. All the changes can be yes, reversed. Yes, the changes can be reversed. You see the lungs. Irrespective of the time the person stops. You know, well, of course, there's a tipping point. When, for instance, cancer of the throat or cancer of the lip or cancer of the, the lungs has already set in, then it has, it has become irreversible because uh, once cancer has started, it's, it progresses. There's nothing you can do. Uh, but before that time, before the cancer sets in, or before the stroke sets in, because stroke doesn't just happen in one day. There are things, there are changes that takes place over time. And so the, the effect of wound healing will not happen in one day. So, but once smoking is stopped, there's a reversal. The body tends to detoxify itself. And so the areas where oxygen is not getting to, the oxygen can now start getting there. So the carbon monoxide would gradually leave the body, you know, and new uh, blood flow will be better, the oxygenation will be better, and so on and so forth. So the emphasis here is, number one, don't start smoking. Hello, sorry, let, let me hold you there. Hello, good morning. Hello? Sorry, we lost that call. Yeah, don't start smoking at all if you haven't started, no matter the pre peer pressure. People can advertise uh, cigarettes and all that, but don't stop smoking. Don't start if you haven't started. Mm. If you have started smoking, you can stop it. If you stop it, you can prolong your, prolong your life by at least 10 years. Okay, all you need to do is really to stop smoking if you must be free from some of the uh, risk factors uh, enumerated by doctor. And uh, the line will soon be open for you to call in and of course get free consultation on what we are discussing, effect of smoking on health, and we talked about uh, heart disease, lung disease, bone disease. It can lead to stroke. Why would you want to have a part of your body paralyzed at a very young age, Doc? It can even affect the appetite. Mm. Yes, because nicotine tends to block the appetite. And you, you don't feel like eating. And so some of them get lean. Yeah, and then they lack a lot of vitamins, which further compromises their health. Mm. So, so what are the process you can recommend for those who want to stop smoking? It starts with the understanding of the possible consequences of smoking. Mm. And, and that's what we're discussing here today. Uh, companies are making billions of dollars uh, just Hello. Hello, a very good morning to you. Your name and where you calling from? Yes, please. My name is Terry. I call you from Papi. Okay. So I, okay. I Quick. What's your question? I, don't lie. Mm. I just stop to smoke because mm. when I start coughing, I start seeing some symptoms of just inside me. So I have to stop immediately. Then I have to go for garlic and ginger and pizza cola. Then just be stopping. So since that time, I stopped smoking. I don't even like smoking again. Congratulations. That's, that's good. So uh, uh, despite the fact that you have stopped smoking, are you having any challenge? OK, doctor, you, you can go on. Um, 
Okay, so hello, good morning. Hello. Wow, we, we, we lost that. He was a smoker and has stopped smoking. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Your name and where you calling from? I'm calling from Sun City Estate. My name is Clement. Sun City Estate. Yes, Abuja, of Airport Road. Okay, quickly. Your, Mr. Clement, what's yes, your question? My problem is that it's not the smoker that they will blame them. They will blame the producers mm. that they are producing the smoke, the, the, the cigarettes, sir. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Well, I think he has a point, but. <laughs> You taxes. see, yeah. apart from paying taxes, like, like I was saying before the call started coming, people make billions of dollars every year from smoking. Mm. It's a choice. Um, people have uh, pushed for the smoking for cigarette companies to write smokers are liable to die young. And that's very instructive. Hello? Good morning. Your name and where are you calling from? Good morning. Please, can you move away from your TV set? Okay, Doc, sorry, we can't we can proceed. See, um, companies have been forced to write, the Federal Ministry of Health warns that smokers are liable to die young. Mm. So people are aware that it's dangerous to their health. But you know what? What I found is, in fact, if that thing is not written on the cigarette, uh, Nigerians will not smoke it. They'll say that's the fake one. They, they, <laughs> they are looking for the one. <laughs> Hello, good morning. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Hello? Wow. Okay. They are looking for the authentic one. The one that has that inscription. That, that, that's the Smokers original are one. Able to die on. Yes. So that is the right one. Yes, so they have to smoke that. So that's why the whole world, like on the 31st of April, mm. of uh, May, day before yesterday, was World No Smoking Day. Mm. Yes. So it's an advocacy. People will always produce things that are harmful. Mm. They will produce cocaine, they will produce guns, they will produce cigarettes. But it's left for people to be guided, and that's the reason for this discussion. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Your name and where are you calling from? Uh, that's somebody, my name. I'm calling from Kabuka. Okay, that's somewhere. Quickly, what's your question or comment? Uh, please, I'm just listening to your program. Yes. And I want to ask if uh, someone lost, is it the person with smoking? What? Snuff. If someone snuffs. Yeah. No, it's not exactly the same, but but there are also problems with snuff. Okay. Yeah, okay. Be, because you are also taking in some of the harmful substances. Okay. Yes, and it can cause its own damage. Nicotine is going in, some other substance is going in, but it's not exactly the same as smoking. Okay, so so so, so you have to stop then somewhere. Um, so when it comes to the issue of some women. You know, who are also in the habit of smoking and they are pregnant. Uh, what, what do you advise? No, that's this very dangerous. Smoke. It's very dangerous for the unborn baby. It can cause deformities in the baby. It mm. can cause uh, even abortion or miscarriage and so on and so forth. Mm. So it's, it's advisable. It can cause long problems. Mm. So it's advisable for women who smoke to avoid smoking during pregnancy. Can you also cause club food? Well, the etiology of clubfoot is not very clear, but mm. there are different postulations. Mm. Yeah, no, no, not with I can't say that with certainty based on information available. Okay. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Yeah, morning. Please, can you move away from your TV set? The sound is uh, yes. Okay, I've done that. I've moved away. All right. Your name or where you calling from? I am calling from the Guru Ministry. Okay, quickly, what question do you have or comment? My name is Odelade. Odelade, quickly, let's see, hear your, your question or comment. Yeah, I really enjoy the program. The problem here is that it's not the problem of people that are smoking, it's mm. our government. Mm. And now that the tobacco companies, they are no more in Europe, mm. they are no more in America, they now move to West Africa. 
So it's the it's uh, our government that give them license. Is it not so? Well, so well, not, not exactly. For this. Thank you. You have made your yeah. point. Hello. Yeah, you, you, you have made your point, sir. Just listen to the the, so the answer. Well, no, no, that, that's not correct. There is tobacco everywhere in the world. Even Western world, they still have tobacco companies. It's from there they import it into Nigeria. It's not about government. Because if you stop, if the government promulgates a law to say no smoking, there are people that will take the government to court and say they, they must smoke. They feel it's their right. Yes, so you, our responsibility is to be guided, protect ourselves. You were asking a question about you know, alternative to smoke. Yes, I'll, I'll come to that. Uh, hello, good morning. Uh, can you bring down the volume of your TV set? Yeah, good morning. Can you bring down the volume of your TV set? Good morning. Where you are is no noisy. Can you move away from where you are? I can hear you, but where you are is noisy. Can you please move away from where you are? Okay. Let's go. So just to add to what that fellow said, mm. you know, people tend to blame government and blame every other thing. Even God in the scriptures said to man, he said, I have said before you life and death. He said, I advise you to choose life that you might live. Is the, life is full of choices. And that's what makes life interesting. So your responsibility is to get, know the truth and work with the truth that you know. The truth is that tobacco kills and is dangerous. Mm. If you have not started smoking, don't ever start. There's nothing in it. Mm. If you have started, you can stop. Alternative to smoking. OK, yes. Um, the, 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 what is actually addictive in smoking, in cigarette, in tobacco, is the nicotine. Mm. And many people have devised other means, like nicotine patch. You can just put it, it's in some big pharmacies. You can put it on the skin. So it gradually seeps in nicotine into the system. Mm -hmm. So it gives you that feeling of smoking, of that you get when you smoke, but with taking away the risk of all the toxins that you mm -hmm. take in. Then also, there's chewing gum, nicotine chewing gum. Mm. When, when I fly long flights, I see so many heavy smokers, mm. they, they just keep chewing so the chewing gum. It's not because they have the habit of chewing gum, but because... They need to smoke. They, they need, no yes, they can't smoke in the aircraft. Mm. And so they have to chew nicotine chewing gum. Until they get to where they are going, and I'm sure the moment they, they, they land, the next thing will yeah, be. No, they get a very yes. smooth. Hey, very good morning to you. Your name and where are you calling from? My name is Ishapu. I'm calling from Kabusha. Okay, Ishapu, quickly, what is your question or comment? I'm sorry. That about that about clothing. I took me to 2002. I work out hospital. The people come, I put my children. I know. The I know they smoke. I mean, this sickness come happen with me. See now, my heart with my my uh, uh, back pain, my brain be weak. Like mm. uh, if you say like uh, five minutes like that, I go just like that one four. Mm. So I take many hospitals. I work out the country. I take the medicine one year. I drink the medicine when they give me for a sofa one year. After one year, I finish. They do many things. They say they don't see the sickness for my body again. See now, the thing they are talking for my body too much. I know the person to help me again. So that means so you, you, my problem, one, you, one, you, need, two, you need a doctor to help you yes, on that? Sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Where you where go, help me. Okay. Doc. Okay. So, Doc. Well, you, you have he, to. He needs to go to hospital. Yes, you need to. You have to get the specialists. You need to find because there are general doctors, then there are doctors who are specialists. If you meet the specialist and, and with the appropriate investigation, they will find out exactly what's happening 
And yeah, so so you need to go to to Alliance Hospital. We, we can start from there, and um, I'm sure if um, there is need for the ferry, they will refer you. It's at um, number number five, Malumpachi Close, Area Eleven, Garki Abuja. That's where you go to for uh, that problem that is gradually uh, moving from you to your wife, and uh, you have tried, and it's really uh, not working. Okay, viewers, we're about to end this discussion segment, and uh, you can keep calling in. A repeat of this broadcast will be on tomorrow by 4.30, and you can also uh, call in to ask your, your question. I, I, th I think it's this last one. Hello, good morning. I don't know how can I have in touch with you before, because I, my dad had a problem. The number is okay, the, the number is on the screen. Hello? Yes. The number is on the screen. After the program, you can call and you get directive. All right, thank you. Yes, you thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, that's the most we have on today's edition of the program, Stopping Medical Tourism. You don't have reason to smoke. You don't have reason to go to, to, to be close to somebody who smokes. Whether you are, in fact, it's worse for a pregnant woman. Your husband smokes, yes, and you have tried all that you can to make sure you stop smoking. He's not stopping. That is not to say you should go close to him, especially when you are pregnant. And for those who are chain smokers, there are remedies for it. The number on your screen is what you call, and you will definitely be free from it. You don't want cancer of the lung. You don't want cancer of the esophagus. You don't want heart disease. You don't want lung problems. You don't want to be deformed because it weakens the bones. And when you have fractures, it will be difficult for the fracture to heal. So please try as much as you can to end smoking. The much we have today on the program, and it has been with Dr. Christopher, about many thanks for coming on the show. Thank you. And uh, we'll come your way again, same time next week, Saturday. A repeat will be on your way tomorrow uh, at 4.30 p.m. Thanks for watching. Calls.